Hey, this way, Troilus. You didn't run very fast. You caught me, didn't you? I'm out of breath. Let's just let's just rest here. Well, we're right outside your father's tent. He'll hear us. He won't mind. You knew I'd see this. You better be quiet. They'll hear you. No, they won't hear me. You mean that fellow you were with the other day who pretends to be Hecate or something? <laughs> the one you were with on the day I met you. Yes. It's his ring, and, and I want you to take it. Oh, it wouldn't fit me. Well, it, 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 it fit him. He used to wear it on his little finger. I don't like wearing somebody else's oh, ring. Oh, come on, you ninny. Just, just take it. <laughs> he doesn't want my ring. We better go now. Oh. Look, I'm going to watch this all the way. You've got my ring now. Have you got your breath back yet? <sighs> yeah. Come on, I'll race you back. All right, let's go. It's over. It's not it's over. over. I've got to see Calchas. You want to see Calchas after that? Look, the evening isn't over. I still hear voices. Look, I know you're upset. I understand how you must feel, but... Get out of my way. I hope you dream of your woman tonight. <laughs> Calchas! You're here. <laughs> I... I had an appointment. Yes, but you didn't expect me to keep it. You saw them. Yeah, didn't I saw you. I saw all of you and Ulysses arranged for me to see it. But what you don't understand is I don't care what Cressida does. I don't Greece. think you understand. Now let me finish. <laughs> what I want is my Trojan Cressida back. I'd watch worse scenes than the one you staged for me to get her back. You thought you were being so clever. Arranging it so I'd see her being unfaithful. <laughs> unfaithful. Every minute that we're not together, she's being unfaithful. Every single second that we're not kissing, she's being unfaithful. Every single instant that we're not laughing into each other's eyes, unfaithful. Monstrously unfaithful. You know what? I don't care what she does when she's outside of Troy. I don't care who she gives her rings to or who she sleeps with. I want her back. I want my Trojan Crescent of back. I was against this whole business. I don't care who arranged for them to see, for it to, for me to see it. It didn't work. Let her go back to Troy where I can love her. Would you like to know who arranged for you to see what you saw? <laughs> so it was Ulysses, wasn't it? I trusted him. Cressida. Cressida? Cressida. She thought it would be easier for you if you hated her. She wants me to hate her. I didn't approve of the plan, but you've got to understand what she was trying to do. She thought it would hurt you less this way than if she simply told you that she didn't want to come back. She wanted to kill your love. Does she love Diomede that much? Oh, I don't think she loves Diomede. Certainly not as much as she says she loved you. She just doesn't want to go back to being your Trojan <laughs> Cressida. You never did understand her. And she and Diomede, they played this whole scene out for me. Oh, Diomede didn't know anything about it. She arranged Ulysses to give a signal when you were coming and then just did the rest by herself. I went down into hell to rescue Eurydice, and it turns out Eurydice is the queen of hell. <laughs> You'll forgive her in time. Forgive her? I mean, do we talk about forgiving Eurydice for dying? Oh, you take the old myths too literally, Troilus. The story of Orpheus and Eurydice is the story of the soul, searching for divine wisdom, not the story of a young man who lost his girlfriend. <laughs> well, you have your chance to gloat over me now. It's good revenge for the past, isn't it? Maybe. I'm never certain of my own motives, but I'm still a priest of Apollo. And as a priest, I'm as ready to help you now as I was then. To help me regain Eurydice. I don't think even Apollo can shoot that far. To help you regain the true Eurydice, the thing my daughter was a copy of. And Apollo, <laughs> he owns the real Eurydice? <laughs> the original Eurydice? He can help you find her inside yourself. 
Apollo, the god of balance, the juggler god. Come, brothers, let us worship the god of neither here nor there, the god who disappears as soon as you touch him. Oh, you have locked your heart like a city. And who taught me to lock my heart? Who taught me to build walls? You and your balance warriors, your friends of Apollo. You gave me a war to play with when I was a child. You taught me to build walls. And then you brought me Cressida, so I moved my walls to make room for her. So you took her away. And now my heart is big and it's empty, like a deserted city. And you tell me I've locked my gates. Cressida, is she really lost? <laughs> <laughs> what you loved is never really lost. <laughs> Orpheus goes down into hell to find Eurydice and finds a fucking sermon. <laughs> oh, shit on Apollo. I came here for Cressida, not to plaster statue. <laughs> Doesn't break. <laughs> Neither do I. Drink, be merry. The music's going to be getting set up and playing while we take a break, and uh, we'll be back in.